Hi everyone, we filmed The Lance 1995 and last night I began editing the video and realized that I wasn't doing this model justice. We just didn't know enough about the travel trailer no. and I wasn't happy putting that video out there and you know that we are always going to try to give you the best content that we can and we're never going to steer you in the wrong direction. Yeah. So instead we came back to the show, we asked the manufacturer to do the tour for us. And I think you're going to get so much good information from this. So let's go ahead and do this. So let me just tell you some of the benefits of, of a travel trailer. Um, one benefit is, is that you don't have to, basically, if you're going to tow rather than chase, yeah. right, you're still restricted in some states in terms of lanes and, and whatnot. So the benefit is, is that obviously you can drop the trailer anywhere and don't have to break camp and you still have a vehicle. That's one of the main benefits of a, of a towable product. This product here is our Lance product, which is our 1995. Um, this here is a four season unit, which allows you basically to you know endure any type of weather that is coming your way, um, which is a real important thing to happen and have. It's because when you talk about insulation, most people always think about cold. Um, obviously, we're built in the west, so if you get into real extreme weather, 120 degrees, that insulation works just as well for heat as it does for cold. So the type of materials that we use in this unit are basically um, an Asdale material, so it's a thermal composite. Um, we're one of the largest um, and most popular products that are built with a thermal composite type wall. But why that's important is that there's no wood inside of the wall. Um, so basically it's sound deadening, it insulates better, um, there's no mold buildup, um, which is a great feature. The other thing too is that you're laminating two substrates that are basically the same, plastic to plastic. So it gives you a really nice insulated wall that goes through. It's all aluminum frame um, as well. The other thing too is it takes out all, all your formaldehydes. So the carcinogens that are built up inside of an RV naturally are all removed. So when you walk into our units, um, if you have any type of allergy and whatever, a lot of people will go towards our product because of that. Because a lot of times you walk this show, you know, if the unit's been sealed up, you walk in and it's like, why are my eyes burning and things like that? It's because of the type of who's building in California. Our laws are so strict that we can't use those high toxins inside of the coach. Um, so that's a very important feature. So getting into the unit, um, you can see here that we have no head bangers on our awnings. Um, benefit of this is, is that um, you get a full awning. So basically it runs the whole length of the coach so you're getting more shade. Um, it also has a wind sensor on it. It's all automatic. Um, it is a carefree product. Um, but sometimes you might have a fire pit that's right here. Well, you can't operate your awning because you have an arm that's gonna restrict you. So with this here, it doesn't matter what's in your way, you can still deploy your awning without, any, without having restrictions um, of an awning on the side. I have a shade that basically is going to come down. So a lot of times, you know, you just have a standard window and the sun, it's like that glare coming in. Right. Now you just go inside and run a shade. These are all little things that, that we do that are um, custom to, you know, to help people camp better. I'll give you some more features. I don't know how long you want to film for. You got a puck here, allows you to move your TV. Yeah, it's all 12 volt TV, so you have um, USB charge port, 12 volt charge ports, and cable, and 110. We're running Goodyear tires um, on Dexter axles, which are torsion. This is also TPO, so there's no ABS or fiberglass. So if it gets cold, you have the, if it does get hit, it's not going to crack. Uh, That's down. a great benefit. Yes, it is. <laughs> Um, that, that same material is used on our front and the back, and I'll show you that in a minute. You also have a full pull-out tray that allows you to basically, you know, put cases of water, bins of product. Um, we also put in a table here, but it also acts as a shelf, because so many times you're going to unload something, then where's it going to go? Oh my, how far out does that go? Well, it goes four feet. It's actually a table. <gasps> it comes out and it's a Oh my back. gosh, that is fantastic. So if you want to pull off the side of the road, you know, you see this scenic thing, you know, there's normally not a picnic table there, right? Right. Right. You're on the road. Pull out your table, pull out your chairs, you can have a nice lunch, whatnot, enjoy the scenery with a table and the chairs. Also, I love too, it. if you're barbecuing, we have a low pressure hookup. 
So, you know, you pull your stuff out, you kind of have a, a, an additional shelf, or you can set it up as a table. But getting back to this here, so you have a case of water, what do you do? Pull up a case of water, now what? All right? It's going to go on the ground because you have to shut everything. No. You set your case of water, it's back in, all right? Grab your water, and I do the old side thing. You know, you have a slam latch, you know, you pull that down. That goes. Inside here, um, this is actually locked, so I'll show you another one. These are all lockable battery compartments. Um, so if you get away from a lead acid battery and you start getting into lithium, one thing you don't want to have happen is having a thousand dollar battery stolen. So they're all in locking compartments and they're all on trays. In the very front here, um, we're getting back to your TPO material and basically it's a gravel guard and you can see here that you can hit on this, you can kick on it and it's not going to do anything. It's very much like a car. So in the front here, you can see here it covers the lead edge of the chassis. So when you get rocks and stuff that hit, you're not uh, basically having to sand and repaint because it's already there. Uh, you also have stainless steel screws so you don't have any dissimilar metals um, going from stainless into the aluminum. So there's no main, all your plastics are gone so you don't have to worry about the sun eating up the coach. All your front windows open as well. Um, we call this our stargazer windows. Wait, so that opens? Yes. How does it open? It looks like uh, it's From sealed. the inside. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, it's got an automotive bulb seal on it, just like a car door. So that window, when you're in bed, you can actually get ventilation across your, um, over your head when you're sleeping or whatnot. Um, the beauty of this is that it's, we call it the stargazer. So when you lay in the bed, you can actually see the stars um, at night. That's nice. This here is going to have three propane tanks. So you have three 20-pound bottles. The beauty of this is, is that you can always get propane because you can always go exchange the tank. So you're not reliant on having to find somebody who's going to fill up your tank. So if you're remote camping, you can drive in with a tank, bring a new tank. Two tanks are engaged. The third tank is basically in reserve. Um, some other things inherent to travel trailers. I mean, there's simple things. But again, you know, we camp in the product. We use the product. So therefore, we're giving you features that, are, that we feel are very important to an owner. So as an example, walk around the show here you know here's your power cord well what happens to the power cord normally it ends up in the dirt you have any type of grease on it you get little piece of pebbles and like that now you plug it in and my running lights don't work my brake lights out whatever it is so we provide a holder that allows that to basically go in and seat and it's pointed in the down position so you're not getting water in there also your chains how many times have you seen your chains and you look at them and they're like this and what happens it nicks the chassis now you get rust etc more maintenance so we provide you with a holder that's down below here that will allow you to hold your chains so again when it goes into storage um, it's clean and neat and it's you know it's simple things that's why we're lance even your pin you know so it's connected where's the pin how do i how do i lock it in now some people will put a lock through but at least you have a pin to move the unit and it's attached so you don't lose it little things all your jacks are all electric uh, for stabilization. Um, I don't know if you want to walk to the other side. Are those LED lights here in the front yes. too? Yeah, everything is LED. Um, you can see here in the battery compartment on this side, it's all full pull out. Oh, nice. Right. Um, so you have your electric jacks here and that'll operate basically front and rear, straight across. Another thing that we do is that we allow for a generator storage compartment. So this will allow you to basically put like an EU2200 in a gas can or a little bit larger generator. It does have to be operated outside. We also give you a torque wrench um, for, your, for your lugs as well. Getting back to the generator, if you do pull it out, if you look down below here, we have a toy lock. So you can actually secure the generator so nobody steals it um, to the coach. Or your bicycles or other things that are there. So everything is kind of thought out. Um, inside here, you basically have a storage compartment. That uh, and what I do with this is I put anything that's dirty, anything that's going to touch the ground. So like your electrical cord and your water hose, all go inside there. So you're not taking something again dirty and mixing with something clean. Um, they're all thermal pane windows, as you can see, straight across the board. Um, there's more storage on the on the side here. Those will actually take four full-size chairs inside that storage compartment, or golf clubs, or whatever else you'd like.
I have to tell you, I am very, very impressed. <laughs> I can see why our viewers wanted to see this model. Um, coming to the rear, you can see here that you have a real ladder. We call it a fat ladder. Um, so you can actually get up on the roof, so you can store kayaks, canoes, um, anything you want up on the roof. Does it come with the attachments to do that? Um, top, any, or is that extra? Well, any type of uh, Thule or Yakima. So if you have an SUV and, you know, let's say you're not taking your trailer, those will attach to the bars. So you don't have anything, you don't have to have anything that's um, specific. The best thing is you're not putting more holes in the roof. Um, and we've eliminated that, as you can see. Um, because you know, the, the more screw holes you put in the unit, the bigger the chance of uh, basically a leak. That's why we've eliminated those. You can see here we use a torque lift revolution step. Um, it goes into multi positions, high, low, in and out. So if you have somebody who might have knee problems, etc., can't take that big, you know, nine plus inch step, uh, you can actually pull this so it gets closer to the top so it's a shorter step in and out. Um, the benefit of this is that you get the stability, but you're not putting the dirt inside. So, so many times, um, you know, if you have a fold out step, you might have a curb, it looks like a plank. Um, if you're parked in a truck stop, how do you basically get in with the step? This way here, you can adjust this step in and out, so you can still get in and out in a tight space by using a step. So let's go on inside. See, the air conditioner works very well in here. Yeah, it'll freeze you out of here. <laughs> um, you know, speaking of the air, um, one thing that we do have is directional. So a lot of times when you have a slide out, um, basically there are no air ducts here. So with these directional pieces, you can actually pump air in your slide area because if you get it in the corner there, it can be kind of hot. And this way you're going to get cold air. Or if you're outside, it's really hot, you can down draft, cool off in seconds. Um, which is real important. And you can control it front, back, every which way you want to go. Um, one thing that is unique to Lance is our wall construction. Everything is solid wood. So all of your walls in here are all plywood. Solid. Your roof, when we talked about load bearing, you can see here it's, it's like a rock. Um, so if you have snow load or something like that, it will take that and obviously you can walk on the roof. Um, our cabinetry is probably some of the best um, in the industry across the board. Um, some of the features that you have are, you know, you have a pull-up cabinet. It's a one-hand project. Lights go on and off, so you can see what you're, what's in there. You can use two hands to do what you need to do. You're not propping up. Something when you're buying an RV that's really important, you don't think about it, but a plate is basically 11 inches round. So you can actually slide a plate in here. It's not going sideways where you're holding the plate then having to try and close the door down on it. Um, so depth of cabinets is something really to look out for. Um, you have full wardrobe in the back so if you look at storage and again this is a 19 foot trailer so when you look about the abundance of storage there there's a lot. Now you can rack that. We do have some people that will take this make it into a pantry um, I advise basically like Rubbermaid, pull out drawers is a great way to go. That way you can pull it out, load it, put it back in. Great you also have more storage down here. All your drawers, they're also removable. Why is that important? We're barbecuing outside. You can take everything outside, utensils, whatnot. You're not running in and out, getting flies, gnats, whatever inside of the unit. And it keeps everything clean. The other thing is, notice the material. It's plastic. Why is that important? Well washing dishes, you have soap, you have a sponge, you have whatever, and where does that go? You put it in a wood drawer, potentially it's going to get moldy and whatnot. Now you put it in here, well if it spills, easy clean. Okay. Um, the other thing too is that if you get your marinade pan, this will double. Um, you have all your um, bypass valves and whatnot, so winterizing, hookup, it's all here, clean and neat. You'll notice this tube, uh, we actually duct heat across our holding tanks. The importance of that is that you won't freeze up. So we actually circulate the heat into a compartment that's encapsulated 
ducts the heat in and then returns it on the other side and that works both ways so this way you're actually getting some heat into the cabinets you're heating the whole coach up and that helps to basically you know reduce the amount of propane and, and the helps in the efficiency of the furnace um, other things that you might not think about so why lance you notice there's an outlet here so why is the outlet on the face here well if you think about it you have a coffee pot toaster how long is the cord most RVs are going to be up here somewhere. So what happens? You plug it in, the coffee pot's hanging. So now you have to figure out how am I going to support it. This way you set your appliance down, plug straight in, and away you go. Okay. Um, this does come with a 160, 190-watt solar panel. We use GoPower. You can get up to two um, from the factory standard. One key feature that we have that's really important to our viewers is when you look at these monitor panels, Basically when you hit battery, it reads voltage. So right now we're on a charger because we're hooked up to 110. It's gonna read 14 volts. Wow, everything is great. You unplug it, your battery might not be charged. Excuse me. <coughs> so. For folks who are not familiar with uh, solar panels and what they do, that's basically so that you can trickle charge your batteries, correct? Yeah, or if you have lithium, it'll fast charge them. Okay. So um, I'll just get into like some of the particulars real quick since you asked the question. What we offer is a battery meter, and what that does is it tells you the exact amount of time you can camp before your battery goes dead. Oh, that's great. Yes. So with the amount of lights that we have on here, you can go to the meter and it can say you have 60 hours of battery life. Okay. Well, if you want 80, start turning off lights. Okay. So that way you can gauge how long am I going to be camping or what do I need to do? Do I need to start my vehicle to charge the battery? Do I need to replace the trailer potentially to get more sun if you're using solar panel? Or do I need to start a generator or plug in to get charged? So we have basically four ways of charging the battery. But the thing is that when you have one of these, you have no idea what condition the battery is in or how long you can camp. And that's the biggest question that's ever asked. So that is probably one of the most important things to look for in any RV. I love the fact that you've taken the guesswork out of it. Correct. Speaking of guesswork, who wants to get down on their hands and knees and unload everything? So that's a 150 pound um, drawer guide on this particular product. So again, you don't have to get, the, you don't have a door, get down on your hands and knees, unload everything. Convenience is important. You know, the reason why you're buying an RV is to enjoy the great USA. So what you don't want to do is buy an RV where that you have to wrench on or work on. And working includes getting additional items to basically cook your dinner or whatnot. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, you know, if you turn around, you can see that's your full living. That's the Stargazer. Does this Next. bed fold up? Or? Yes, yes, yeah, okay. a queen bed. It's all on oh, struts. storage underneath. Yes. Fantastic. But you'll also notice how it's felt lined. Okay, and, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah. And the reason for that is so you don't get squeaking or, you know, any type of... So any little detail that could potentially cause noises and whatnot, uh, we eliminate. Even though you're not riding in this unit like you would in a Class A, um, if you put a motor underneath this, it would probably be the quietest unit that you've ever ridden in. And actually, if you want to, if you lay down on the bed, you can give them a good shot of hey John, Stargazer. Come lie down in the bed and give them a shot of... I see where the window opens now. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that before. Yeah, and so basically this come one... Can you use the camera? He come wants you to get a shot of the... Oh, oh I see. Yeah, he wants you to get a shot of it. I see. This is neat. So let me... I do it like this. Yeah. And I can see that if I'm actually lying in the bed. Look at that. What I'm looking at. That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Also That's why you do this, right? So you can Yeah. You can see nature this way. So and, and what's nice is that, is that you can get privacy to this point. You can still get screen so if you want the airflow. So at night, you know, you can basically still see up, you know, without somebody seeing you. So you don't have to have the window fully open. Seems like you guys have thought of everything on this coach, on this uh, motorhome. We sure try. Mm -hmm.
or I should say travel trailer. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll take any classification. As long as you buy a Lance, we're okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us and, sure. and help us share this. We actually came to this motor, this uh, travel trailer earlier this week, and after looking at the video, I felt like I didn't do it justice, and I felt I feel like now our viewers can see how wonderful this Lance really is. Well, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay, let's show you the bathroom. This is a very nice sized shower. And I like the cabinetry and the lights in here as well. All around, very nice. What is your pet peeve? Um, that was quick. I don't know. Do you not have one? I've got to have one. There's got to be something I hate in here. There's always something you hate, John. <laughs> there is. Are you not hating today? I guess not. Okay. Kind, of a, kind of a cloudy day, so, you know, I'm kind of... Mm. Well, you know, John, I, I kind of agree with you. I, I don't see anything really bad in this unit. Um, I'm going to say my favorite in this one is the same as my favorite <laughs> in the... Last 1985, yes. which is the stargazing window. I love the fact that it opens up, that you can pull the shade up a little bit um, to, to look outside, get that ventilation in there as well. So that's my favorite feature. My other favorite feature, which I don't think the manufacturer showed us, is that it has this really nice skylight that you can open and close with the shade, which is a little bit stiff, which I hope would loosen over time. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not sure if I like the bed because I notice in this model it's a dedicated bed, and in other travel trailers you can fold up the bed and there's a couch, so you can use it during the day. I mean, I'm sure you could just come over and just sit on the bed, but it's kind of nice having a couch. I knew you'd find something you didn't like. You yeah. always do. I mean, it's a nice bed, but where's, gotcha. where's the couch? All right, folks. So please put down in the comments below what you like and dislike about this particular unit. Um, YouTube loves to see conversations. It'll help us to promote our uh, RV tours during this Hershey show. So let us know what you like about it and what you dislike about it. But I think it's a pretty neat unit. Uh, let's take a look at the fit and finish, John. I don't think we've done that yet. Yeah. I do see a few things in here, um, but nothing really major. So, John. Yeah. I'm thinking this model is a 9.5. Yes, Lance does seem to do well with the fit and finish. Right. Now, I don't know their product history. No, I don't I either. can only base it on what we're seeing in this model that's right here at the show. Right. But this is a pretty solid unit that we're standing in. Yes, it is. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Um, now it's on to the next one. Yeah.